Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Today we are going to take a close look at the St. Bernard dog breed. Overview. The St. Bernard is a breed of very large working dog from the Western Alps in Italy and Switzerland. They were originally bred for rescue work by the Hospice of the Great St. Bernard Pass on the Italian-Swiss border. The hospice, built by and named after Italian monk Bernard of Menthon, acquired its first dogs between 1660s and 1670s. The St. Bernard is a famous and dangerous alpine road that reaches roughly 8,000 feet above sea level. Many believe that they originate from Molossers, mastiff-like dogs brought to Switzerland by the Romans roughly 2,000 years ago. The earliest depiction of the breed was in two paintings done by well-known Italian artist Salvatore Rosa in 1695. Maronier servants were assigned to accompany travelers between the Hospice and Borg Saint Pierre, a municipality on the Swiss side. By 1750, Maroniers were accompanied by the dogs, whose broad chest helped to clear paths for travelers. They soon discovered the dog's tremendous sense of smell and ability to discover people buried deep in the snow. They carried a flask around their necks to warm the victims and possibly save their lives. The current St. Bernard is believed to be a cross of the Alpine Spaniel and the Newfoundland. It is estimated that during the three centuries of rescue work, the saints have saved over 2,000 lives. By the first millennium CE, dogs in Switzerland and the Alps were grouped together and known as Tallhund, Valley Dog, or Bauernhund, Farm Dog. The St. Bernard was recognized by the AKC in 1885. First, let's look at the pros, naturally adorable and fun, you will never get bored when you have them around. Great watchdogs because of their size and alertness. Generally gentle and friendly with everyone they meet. Saints are very intelligent and learn very easily. Once learned, a lesson is never forgotten. Generally likes to keep themselves clean and doesn't bark excessively. Saints are generally very laid-back dogs and enjoys pulling carts and sleds. No need to worry too much about getting easily hurt, not wild. Affectionate and loving especially with their owners which makes them great companions. Not fussy calm and easygoing. Now, let's take a look at the some cons. A very bulky dog who takes up a lot of space in your house and vehicles. A heavy dog who wants to sit on your feet and lean his weight against your leg. The average lifespan of a Saint Bernard is only 8 to 10 years, they're known as the heartbreak breed for this very reason must tolerate wheezing, snorting, slobbering and gassiness. Not suited for warm and humid weather, needs air conditioning, Saint thrived naturally in cold weathers. Prone to separation anxiety when left alone for long periods and tendency to become, too, clingy. Saint drool excessively and vet bills are more costly. Saint Bernards are heavy shedders and will blow their coat twice a year. Not so easy to groom, they have a thick coat so you may need some time and money to maintain it. Most St. Bernard dogs are not active and require a lot of push for exercise. How much is a St. Bernard puppy? On average a St. Bernard puppy will cost $1,000 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $550 and $2,000. The price will vary depending on the breeder location, dog's bloodline, color, and age among other things. Are St. Bernard's apartment friendly? A saint is a giant size breed and although they are generally quiet inside, they are not best suited to apartments. The saint will do okay in an apartment if it is sufficiently exercised. These dogs are relatively inactive indoors and a small yard is sufficient. Are Saint Bernards good for first-time owners? Saints are highly cordial and affable canines and their exercise needs are also not that high. But they still are not considered to be a great option for the novice or first-time dog owners. It requires a fair amount of experience and skill to handle and properly raise such a massive breed. Do St. Bernards drool a lot? Yes, these canines do salivate a lot. They drool in their paws track in their fair share of mud. If you are looking to raise this pooch, then you should always be prepared for its excessive slobbering. Do St. Bernards bark a lot? No, these canines are known to bark only on rare occasions. They only vocalize to alert their owners when they are guarding their property and something want from their owners and loved ones. Apart from this, these canines like to remain calm and quiet for most of the time. Can St. Bernards be left alone? An adolescent saint should not be left alone for more than 4 hours a day. 
A well-adjusted adult saint can be trained to be alone for up to six hours, but not in a crate. If you want your Bernard to live alone for a few hours without getting frustrated, then the best way is to take him on a long walk and then leave him inside the house. But, leaving him all alone for long periods on a regular basis affects on both mental and physical state. How much do St. Bernard shed? They are heavy shedders and shed, or blow, their coat twice a year. They especially become heavy shedders during the spring and autumn seasons, while long-haired Bernards may tend to shed more than their short-haired counterparts. Brushing daily or three to four times per week will help your dog to shed less. Can St. Bernard handle cold weather? Excellent, these canines were bred under harsh and cold climatic conditions. These canines are great for someone who resides in a snowy and wintry place. Can St. Bernard's tolerance to heat? Poor, they are not highly recommended to the people who reside in very hot and humid places. Do St. Bernard's like to swim? This mostly depends on personal preference and some like to take a dip in the pool, while others are not so keen on the water. If your saint is comfortable around a water body, then definitely take him swimming. If he is struggling to get in the water, then swimming might not be a very good idea for your pooch. Are St. Bernard's hypoallergenic? No, this is not a hypoallergenic breed as it is known to produce a fair amount of dander and shed its fur in very large amounts on a seasonal basis. Are St. Bernard's friendly with kids? Yes, Saint is one of the best large-sized breeds to be around kids. These giant canines are considered to be very suitable for a young child as they have a caring and gentle personality. It is always important to keep an eye on when children and St. Bernards are playing. Teach your children not to pull their ear or tail as it may result in sudden aggressiveness even to the most patient and gentle dog. Are St. Bernards friendly with other dogs? Yes, Bernards are very friendly and affectionate with other canines. They always remain warm and cordial with other pooches and ready to meet new dogs and make them their friend. Saint's social skills are awesome when it comes to getting to know other pooches. Are Saint Bernard's friendly with cats? Yes, whether it is a dog or a cat, Bernard will be immensely kind and affectionate towards it. These massive canine always treat anyone with utmost respect, tenderness and rightly called as the gentle giants of the canine world. Is Saint Bernard stranger friendly? Saints are always very kind and friendly with strangers, if properly trained and well socialized at a young age. They nicely greet the visitors that come to their house and happily meet new people without any reservations. What are St. Bernard's grooming needs? These canines have moderate grooming requirements and come in two different varieties, long-haired and short-haired. Their coat should be brushed at least once or twice every week so as to avoid mat formation. Occasional baths will help in keeping them dirt-free and clean. Nails should be trimmed regularly and their ears and eyes must be cleaned whenever it is necessary or at least once every week. Are St. Bernard's easy to train? Training a St. Bernard shouldn't hard for an experienced dog owner. They should be trained to walk well on a leash while they are still small, so they don't haul your arm off when they get big. These canines are very compliant and attentive during the training sessions and are known to listen their owner's commands fairly sincerely. But it's important to start obedience training from an early age as these canines can develop a few bad habit likes pulling the leash and jumping on people, affectionately. Do St. Bernards make good guard dogs? Although saints are very calm and friendly canines, they can act as decent guard dogs due to their massive size. They are not known to show any kind of aggression towards anyone. It's better to describe them as awesome watchdogs instead of good guard dogs. These canines can effectively alert their owners in case of a possible threat or danger. Interesting facts. St. Bernard excel at dog sports such as drafting, pulling a cart, weight pulling, and obedience trials. British comedian Bernie Winters had a pet St. Bernard called Schnorbitz. Saints are well known for being one of the easiest breeds to housebreak. Medical care is more expensive, especially if dosages are based on weight. Another fan of Saint is actress Anna Kendrick and she has posted pictures of herself with her dog on social media. The most famous Saint Bernard to save people at the pass was Barry, 1800-1814, who saved somewhere between 40 and 100 lives. There is a monument to Barry in the Cimetière des Chiennes, and his body was preserved in the Natural History Museum in Bern. Some of the Bernard's talents are search and rescue, guard dog, watchdog, carting, predict storms and avalanches. Saints' highly developed sense of smell enabled the breed to locate the freezing and helpless during snowstorms. Between 1816 and 1818, 
The winter snowstorms at St. Bernard Pass were particularly severe, and many dogs died in avalanches while doing rescue work. The Swiss St. Bernard Club was founded in Basel on 15 March 1884. The St. Bernard was the very first breed entered into the Swiss stud book in 1884 and was finally approved in 1888. Since then, the breed has been a Swiss national dog. The long-haired variety of St. Bernard was produced by crosses with the Newfoundland dog in the early 19th century. Saints are no longer used for alpine rescues, the last recorded instance of which was in 1955. The collective name for a large group of St. Bernard is a floof. Famously, it was believed that they carried a small barrel of brandy around their neck to revive frozen mountaineers. But there is no historical evidence that they did actually carry this brandy. The saint has also been known to be able to predict storms and avalanches. This may be possible because of the dog's ability to hear very low frequency sounds which humans cannot. The 1992 comedy film Beethoven starred a Saint Bernard who was given the titular role and the movie collected million of dollars, $150 million. The food requirement for a Bernard may be lower than for other breeds of similar size because his temperament is more placid and it needs less exercise. Saint can suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia, epilepsy, cardiac disorders and cataract. They gives birth to six puppies on average and reach mental maturity after few years. Saint sheds a lot and it needs to be brushed at least three times per week to keep shedding under control. Saint generally take longer to mature mentally. This leaves you with a very big puppy for several years. They are susceptible to eye disorders called entropion and ectropion, in which eyelid turns in or out. Osteosarcoma, bone cancer, has been shown to be hereditary in this breed. The average weight of the breed is 140 to 180 pounds, male, 120 to 140 pounds, female. The height at the withers is 28 to 30 inches, male, 26 to 28 inches, female. US and UK breed clubs put the average lifespan for a St. Bernard at 8 to 10 years. UK Breed Survey in 2004 puts the median lifespan at 7 years. Conclusions. If you are a neat freak and are bothered by the hair and the drool, then this is definitely not the dog for you. There is no better dog in the world than a good, well-bred, well-trained St. Bernard. You will need time, patience, ability and motivation to turn a cute, 15-pound pup into a responsive 175-pound adult. It's a lifelong commitment and think about it before you start. Obviously, everything here is just our opinion on owning a saint and it isn't an exhaustive list. We encourage you to do as much research as possible. Have you had any experience with St. Bernard? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.